Welcome back everyone to Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks, episode 2 of our, I guess our impressions on the closed beta. So last time we had, uh, we've had a real devil of time trying to get things going. We have a loan out already, otherwise we'd be going under. Don't yet have a contract out. This is again, I think it's a hilarious business. I mean, we really have to suspend disbelief here that a company would be started <laughs> and making tanks and all that before actually having any uh, demand or any you know potential buyers. But uh, be that as it may, we are still trying to make this all work. We are assuming that there will be a contract forthcoming. So that is what we'll wait for. But we've had, a, unfortunately, a devil of a time with some things. Uh, okay, research is finished. We're expected to be down to 290. Um, so yeah, the... Uh, Yeah, the things have not swung our way. We've had a few fires and, uh, well, yeah, I guess the biggest thing is we need a contract to pay off what we need here. Let's go ahead and research. Um, so I did not, I, I noticed when I was editing the first video, I didn't put tracer munitions or solid, I mean, I didn't do any of the enhancements that you can actually add. This should be pretty quick, 11 days with 30 people. Let's go ahead and do the solid shot rounds. It will mean that our next tank beyond the first one will be a little bit better. Honestly, we probably could have made, we, it looks like we didn't have to make the original one as quickly as we, as we did. I guess that things have, the timeline must have changed slightly in the uh, closed beta versus previously, at least versus the demo, I would say, because the contract and the demo came up almost right away. But now we're waiting on our, we're basically sitting on our hands waiting for the next, for the first contract to come about. France and Germany have signed a comprehensive trade agreement. That's very interesting. I guess the guns of August did not go off and there's no war right now. Is that the case? Well, that's really problematic for somebody who wants to sell tanks. <laughs> we might be, in, might be having a really hard time pretty soon. Uh, anyway, we'll just keep gritting our teeth and hoping that contract does become available. It looks like our production hall is finally going to be back open. All right. We've had quite a run of it, right? Was that one or two fires in the production hall and then one in the research? Uh, anyway, so let's continue to move about using our limited supply of engineers to do these kind of things. Um, we can get the improved round. I'd actually rather do something else like low pass gear. We can maybe get the whippet stuff going. This also has the additional parts that are pretty useful. So that'll only take nine days, we'll do that. I'm still holding off on building anything. I guess I should look at the log to see. Yeah, we production is moving with our Mark 1s. What is it that we're building 13 days? Are we building more of them? I think I, would I try to get up to 18 or something? Tracing Musicians can't really build anything with that, can't build anything with Solid Shot. Improved high pass running gear, so that's something we could potentially engineer. Did we already do it though? Let's find out. I forgot. High pass running gear. Yeah, so this is I guess the high pass running gear war horse, and it looks like we do have a design. Notice that it's 159 versus 99, so you know, 60% better in terms of attribute sum. Uh, it's a better, it's definitely better, and we, honestly, if we if it wasn't so expensive to do so, what we could do is probably design a new tank, which would be much better. Did we make a better machine gun? Yeah, we certainly did. Well, you know what? I think that while we're waiting, how we already built, yeah, we already built the tanks. We already produced them. So maybe if you are not like me and are choose to be a little more patient, you probably could get out a better design. We're, I guess, we're married to the first one because we can't just. We can't lose that money. That's quite expensive to have those tanks just do nothing. So we're going to, you know, <laughs> stay the course, I guess. All right, we have an additional six coming out. That'll put us at 18. That's exactly, I think, a good number. So again, we're just waiting on this contract. And, you know, we do hope that it comes up soon. Since the fate of this company <laughs> relies entirely on that. All right, low pass running gear has been completed. So that's more engineering that we have now unlocked. I think medium hole makes sense. This is the Whippet after all. We have pretty much all the other components for it, I think. We also have, oh yeah, we can get better fuel too. That's what we'll do, we'll do that in due time. Start this, it gives us better things, hole hatch, hole door, Mark II stuff. That's all 
very good as well. I guess we're essentially gearing up for a very good second tank. I don't know what it should be, either the medium tank or another, a better Mark 1. We call it the Mark 6 or something like that. Anyway, four more days on our construction, so we're really hoping that something comes about soon with this contract. It's done. I mean, so that puts us at a total of 18, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check. Line one. How do I get over to the... I know I can click here, but isn't there a way... It's in here somewhere, so there must be a way of alternating between the two. Logistics... Um, yeah, we have 18 in stock, so I see that for sure. But where how do you, I wonder if there's a, there's got to be a button where you can switch over. No, maybe not. Hmm. Anyway, we see our delivery options here. And they should be a little bit faster since, yeah, we are, we have the, the warehouse building. Down to 290, so we can probably survive another month beyond this. I wonder if it would be prudent to maybe dismiss a few more engineers and hire them back later, because I mean I think we are running into a real problem here. That loan, and I did the calculation. This total loan amount, it does. It's the total 450 plus the interest. So I forget what it was, maybe 560 or something like that. That just shows you the 110 that we're paying on top of the 450 principal. Anyway, yeah, let's fire uh, a few of these guys, unfortunately. Sorry, fellows, it's time to go home. Maybe 10 of them. And that'll save us a little bit of money. We're pretty desperate for money. We may even need to fire some workers. I guess I'll fire another 10 workers. Okay, well, I don't know if that's uh, really made much of a difference, but uh, we do need to enact some cost-saving, me you know, measures. Uh, getting whatever tanks we get after this, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I'm not even going to go and, sorry, we're going to have to let another 10 workers go even. Um, we can always hire some more people back if needed when it's time to produce more. I mean, I guess what we could do is we could, I am expecting to get, I, we can hedge a little bit here. I'm actually going to get two more tanks. Maybe four more. I think 12 can go up. Maybe we can go up to 22. I'm going to go ahead and build four more. which will take 13 days, but let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we're all in, right? There's just no... In order to survive, we need a contract. And beyond that, we need that contract to be very lucrative. What a way for a company to start. Jeez. All right. Hey, wait, look. New contract for 20 tanks. All right. Perfect. So, in fact, we may need more than this, but let's go ahead and look at the contract. Hallelujah. We're, you know, we're potentially saved here. Supply, one battalion, salt tank, 20. And the deadline says it's for January of the new year. Application has 31 days remaining. Okay, let's take a look at what ours is doing. Okay, that is very good. Success for 153. What's our competitor? Good lord, our competitor is like insanely good. 269 to 304. Well, look, we have to make money on this, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, we need to make as many of these as we can. So I guess the only advantage that we're going to have is if we can get them out quickly. Jeez, man. Looking at this, we're still not anywhere there. So can we get them out by December 1st? This is 306, which means that we are better than our competitors. How many? So right now we have. Um, all right. So what I can say is if we can get them by the 30th, the end of November, then we can charge 47,000 for them, 24. Well, as many as we can get. So let's just do the math on how many we can get by the end of November. We currently have... Uh, so how many do we have currently? This is the, good, the big question, 22. We have 19. 
We have 19, and that means that there we have three more under construction, so we'll probably hire some more workers just to get this done as quickly as possible. Yeah, we have nine days left. Let's go ahead and hire more workers and speed up that as much as possible. Wait, I think it's 160 is locked in. Let's find out. Let me hire an additional 20 and see if it changes it at all. We're at nine days. Nine days, nine days, yeah, still at nine days. Yeah, so we can't do anything until this is done. <sighs> yeah, we have 20 available, but that's obviously not good. So, yeah, hmm, 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 All right, well, as nine days left, we'll put us at the 11th. We can then do a shipment of 22. In fact, we'll start shipping immediately it's actually crazy though, because you know it's funny that we we technically have um, thirty one days to apply for this, and we're already going to be choosing a time well be below that. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you can choose as early as the seventeenth. So let's maybe be a little bit less, because we'll, we'll probably make more money. Okay, we can do 44,000 for 304. This is actually pretty good. What about... This seems like it's a reasonable amount. Um, we can still do the third. This is good. And then how many... Yeah, because we can get extra tanks this way. L less per tank, but more tanks should still equal more money. Um, so, it takes nine days for us to have 22. And then at that point, we'll crank up the workers... It's probably going to be about one tank every two to three days. Let's call it two tanks in five days on the 11th. So we can get four more tanks. Let's just push it to 26. Um, let's say 25 to be a little conservative there. So that's three extra tanks after the after we get up to 20. So that's only three more tanks from the 10th to I guess that's like the 17th or the 18th let's call it the 18th and then we should still have like 20 days to deliver those I mean I'm, I think that, that that's fine we can go to 26 and we can go one day earlier and really push it and do 45,000 let's call it 45,500 26 tanks on the second I'm going for it I think that the math all checks out Okay, we're doing it. Now, that assumes that they accept the contract, but, you know, if they don't accept the contract, we are definitely bankrupt. There's no hope for us. So, all, you know, there's there's no reason not to go all in on this. Um, yeah, okay, so we're waiting on this, and then we'll start delivering the tanks as soon as we can. Very good. I guess we'll slow this down to 2x. <laughs> As soon as this contract is accepted, it is great. Okay, all right. So we're at 268. We're expected to be at 124. Let's start the delivery process though and see how much money we can start making. All right, we have 20 of them. Uh, we can deliver a full 40 of them in 10 days for only a thousand per. We still need to deliver another six after this, but this is quite a good start. And even if this is delayed, a, a, you know, a substantial amount. In fact, we could probably even choose a cheaper one. But honestly, a thousand is pretty good. <laughs> Nine fifty is, I don't know. We don't need to go that. You know, a thousand is almost as cheap as you can get, and it's medium safety. Plenty of. Uh, I think this is plenty fine. Delivery speed of ten is actually the slowest there is. No, no, that's not true could go even slower at 1750 but I think we'll take this because we are desperately in need of money all right let's sign this order that'll take 10 days to arrive on the 17th so that will be good and now all attention should focus on uh, making sure that we get the remainder of the tanks out okay so advanced time
And we set it to like 46,000. These cost... You gotta be kidding me. I, how many fires does this game throw at you? There, there must be some bug in the calculation. 12 days? Good lord. Alright, well, um... I, whatever. <laughs> we gotta proceed with the plan. <laughs> As long as that didn't destroy the tanks. Okay, yeah, just repair. It takes 12 days. We don't even know how many tanks we have. We know. We, we have 22. So we need to create four more. And this is with 180. All right, four. How, many long, how long are you going to take? 12 days. That should be doable. That should be doable. And 12 days is basically when the other place is going to become available. So let's do our four. Oh, it's going to be tight. The game is really hosing me. I can't believe we've had three or four fires this close. And I also had fires after, like I mentioned, I had two fires when I actually got the fire thing. I think maybe this, uh, well, I don't know. In my opinion, unless I'm very unlucky, which is also possible, they maybe need to ramp down the fire chance a, a little bit. It's uh, getting a little ridiculous. We have a fire going on for 13 days, for crying out loud. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, medium hole research is done. I mean, basically, the series lives and dies on whether or not we stop getting fires. Because if we get another fire, I guess we just won't make the deadline, and then we'll go bankrupt. <laughs> so, that's just the way it's going to go, I guess. I can't really do anything about that. All right, let's do this female spawn in. This also gives us turret door and turret hatch. I think we already picked that up from a different thing. But the bolted assembly will be nice. I think that's just much better. Let's go ahead and start this. 15 days on that research, assuming there's not another fire. I'm not holding my breath. Okay, yeah, so eight days, you know, maybe this works out okay, I don't know. New diplomatic agreement between Britain and Germany, what? Is there not a war going on? <laughs> I guess there isn't, so they must have changed it so that the geopolitical situation is, is like, well, it's different. External, they have an alliance. And trade agreements. Well, who's who's mad at who? Huh. I all have trade agreements. I'm not sure. It's fascinating. I don't really understand the geopolitical situation, the external diplomacy, whatever that goes on right now, the politics. Uh, that's all new to me, I think. Okay, so five more days. Just got to hold on five more days. I know that I probably should do, you know, let's just be prudent. Let's do our engineering upgrades as well. We have this whip it we can get. We'll use RHL, RHA steel. Much better. Much, much better. Okay, riveted. I don't know if we need ammo storage. This gives us six ammo for secondary weapons. It is 158. I think we'll take that off. I'm not sure what difference it makes. So that's unfortunately part of the problem fuel storage again i don't think we need this operational range actually might be more important for a uh, scout type vehicle like this but i'll leave it off for now we can go to the mark twos looks like they already have those on good and tail wheel this gives us better agility better obstacle height um step height and better obstacle trench width coverage we can go over larger trenches I mean, that does seem appealing, but the I think the name of the game of this thing is to keep the mass low, so I'm not going to do it. Oops, cancel that. Let's uh, let's assign this. I think we're good to go. Take off the ammo storage. How much is that ammo storage? Because it did have it on to start with. You know, ammunition for secondary weapons is actually pretty important for this because it's only going to have secondary weapons, so I'll, I'll put that back on. We'll assign that, keep our engineers busy, at least some of them busy. Now, I am starting to think about maybe dropping down. Oh, we already at, are at 50, so we have 30 there and 20 there. Yeah, okay, we don't need to drop down the number of engineers at all. Okay, we do have four in storage. And... We have two more coming, I guess. Five days, it should be two left. Okay, good. I think we did get the number correct in the end. So, let's see what happens. Britain has rearmed its artillery regiments with uh, the Holt 75 tractor. I'm just, I take that as a sign that these. Wait, why is this not going down? Did this go down? I thought they were even in terms of number. 
Right, well, we need to get this thing out the door, like, now. The contract says eight days remaining. I have had a problem with this. I think we actually have to have them arrive on the first for it to count. I've had them arrive on the second, and by the way, I consider this a game bug. If the deadline's the second, um, unless it's very explicit about it, every experience I have uh, means that that's the day that you need to deliver it by, including that day. Not, it has to arrive before then, that's... Uh, you know, I mean, normally this thing would be spelled out, we would know, but I don't know, and I just by experience, normally people think, okay, if it says the deadline's the 8th, then the tanks arriving on the 8th is okay. I, that's, you know, it's just the way actually in business, <laughs> the business I work with, it works that way. So, I'm not sure, it apparently doesn't work that way in this game. We do have all the number that we need, so we just need the warehouse to stop having a fire, which it has or doesn't have, I can't tell. Yeah, still has one day. Give me that one day. And then we'll just rush this whatever price we, we, we need. Okay, so let's go over to here. No sign card, okay. So we need to get no available shipment lines. You gotta be kidding me. We were hosed by uh, like the third or fourth fire. I guess we just can't deliver our contract now. This is gonna be six more days. God, the fires in, in Britain at this time are just, they're just very hard to deal with, I guess. <laughs> got so many of them. that <laughs> they're, they're affecting the warehouse, the production hall, the research. I think that that's the, that's curtains for our run. Um, I don't think that we can get around that. I mean, I'm still gonna, let's, you know, not give up quite yet. Still work on new designs just in case it does, we, we can pull through. But I'm not optimistic. So this is where uh, having the ammunition storage means that we probably can't get away with these track inserts, but they're so good. They really are very good. I'm going to put them in anyway, and we'll assign that. Although I think it's dicey. We're going to hit a big contract penalty for not delivering the extra ones. So it's 43000 per undelivered tank. And we're already writing the line. See, like, it definitely says your offer deadline. I don't know. Trade cards, interesting. Allow you to customize your offer and select the optimal negotiation tactic. Huh. Well, anyway, I think we're really, really in trouble. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I haven't really checked the other options. Is there one that arrives in like four days? We have four days left on this. Now, yeah, there's no way. There, those are, I mean, are those going to arrive in time? <laughs> I don't know if there's another fire. I shouldn't say it. I'm, I'm jinxing myself. I, you know, I, I joke because I, I don't think there's going to be another fire, but then it happens. Okay. Uh, there we have 20 out of 26 have been delivered. I guess we should do it anyway, right? We should try. These are going to be due... So let's deliver six in four days. It, they're going to arrive late, but I, I, you know, let's, they're going to arrive. So let's hope we aren't totally screwed from that. All right, let's do it. Send them away. I don't know if there's a, a middle ground, if you just get, you know, no money out of that or not. Okay, let's just take a look at this. So, in theory, the revenue is 1.1 million, basically. But 43,000 means it's almost, so six tanks is going to take this down by 300,000. So we should still get 800,000. All right, 800,000 I can handle. We, we should still be, you know, afloat with 800,000 additional. Time is out, one of your contracts, and the one battalion regiment is now equipped. Hopefully, okay, good. And... We did not get 800,000. We did not get... We got like 400,000? What? I'm not really sure I get this. We are afloat, and I think 600,000 is enough to live off of for the next contract. 
But that is not what I was expecting. Okay, anyway, Research Bureau, I don't know if I... Hopefully this hasn't been idle. Yeah, let's start on this one. It's going to take 32 days. So let's get to it. I think we have a lot of good tech to work with with the engineering stuff right now. We can probably design a new tank. In fact, that's what we'll do as soon as this is done. Uh, we can design a whippet. I think the whippet will be very good. So that will be ready for that. We can start building those if we want. I'm not sure if we'll need a, a heavy tank or a medium tank like that next. We'll just be ready for it in either case. Okay, the Whippet Mark 1's done. Let me just see what else we could do. All right, we have the treads. We have the engine. We have the nice gun. Uh, we probably could redo this gun. Let's see if that's true or not. In fact, no, we haven't gotten anything better. We could do a female sponson. I think what it, we'd be better off doing at this point is designing a Whippet. Let's just go over and design a Whippet because I think we're all good. Um, okay, well, first, one other thing I should check is just make sure the guns are going to be everything on this. So let's make sure that this Hotchkiss is the best we could do. Mark 2, Magazine 4. Yeah, it is. I think that's the most important part of it. So um, let's go to the Design Bureau. Let's see what kind of tank we can get. All right, so let's open up the Whippet, create a new design. It will have the lighter engine, the Whippet tracks. We will have no turret, I guess. That's okay. We'll get the better gun. And then we'll take, yeah, we'll take four of those better guns. Okay, good. And now let's go to crew. All right, we need a commander. Commander, we need a, a commander gunner, I guess, is what we need. Um, we need a gunner, and we need a mechanic. Well, you know, this is not great. <laughs> it could be better. Who needs a mechanic? Let's get a, a mechanic gunner. So that <laughs> could be better. <laughs> Crew's maxed out. We got a lot of defects we'll have to take care of, but that's after the, you know, the usual. I did not do the expendables in the last one. I, I think that probably people will, will rightfully complain about this as well. We really should have. So yeah, we'll get the standard ammo. We'll get some tracer ammo. And we'll get the petrol fuel, which just give us a slightly worse crew safety, but better power and better operational range. Uh, we're almost, I, we almost have the next fuel which we could have used instead, but that's fine. So this will take 27 days. We can give it a different paint job if we switch cameras. There we go. Uh, this is super ugly. I don't want that paint job. Right, let's just go with this. Good enough. Lots of machine guns. It makes sense for to have an anti-personnel type thing this early on. All right, so let's assign uh, 20 staff to that. For finishing the design, ensure that at least half of the crew requirements are met in order to make the tank operational at the bare minimum. Are you saying I can't do this? Is that what you're saying? Half of the crew are met. So instead of doing the gunner, let's switch over to get the mechanic to up to four. So you just become a mechanic instead. Okay, how about that? Okay, there we go. So it looks like you just have to have at least halfway. Alrighty. Um, probably didn't need the driver to be so good. Probably could have had the that, I don't know, rotate off. But what's, it's, it's fine. These things will drive nicely. They're scout vehicles predominantly anyway. So 27 days for that to be finished which I think is the best we can do with the limited money we have. And then we'll take that to the track, we'll improve it, and then it will produce it. It'll be ready to go and we'll you know, produce it ahead of time so that we can watch out for any fires. Classified information, okay, so let's see. Bulletproof caterpillars able to destroy enemy machine guns, yeah, good. Well, I, I guess they're just 
raw rawing the tanks, which as a tank producer, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. We are barely staying afloat. Germany has rearmed its infantry to have horse transport? Hmm. Well, that uh, will be good against... <laughs> my, my tanks will do well against that. Alright, the medium whip at Mark 1 design is now complete. Let's take it to the Proving Grounds. And test it for 10,000. 15 days. It's fine by me. Uh, next, we're going to want to engineer some new things. We will get on the female sponson. It'll be used, useful to have, I think. And yeah, we have better materials too we can be using, which even the male sponsor and I could redo with the better um, with the better items. Anyways, that'll take five days. Give our research our engineer something to do over there now, and we're really gearing up towards a better, like I said, a better uh, Mark One. Okay, advance forward. Still losing money. Bolted assembly is now done. Excellent. Firepower. Improve cannon common rounds. Okay. Or mobility, the better pet. This is probably better. Crew safety is minus 10% still, but the operational range goes up from 10 to 30, and power unit goes up from, I think, 10 to, yeah, 20. So this is, I mean, it's simply better. It also unlocks the next set of gears. Interesting. Including an inline engine. I honestly don't think that's as important as maybe improved hull. We already kind of... Well, let, we maybe this one. Yeah, the Mark V. Let's do this. And then we can build a like an Uber assault tank in case another contract comes up for that. That's going to take 70 days. Good lord. <laughs> Okay, other regiments and new equipment. 15 centimeters, so 150 millimeter. It's pretty potent. All right, Walter Wilson is available for hire. I don't know what he will, what he offers us. I have a, you know, a very bad feeling about it. <laughs> We're probably not gonna be able to hire him. We have no money, sir. We have no money. <laughs> He gives us fire focus, accident, reduction of accident risk. Okay, the fire risk, okay, how much are you? 2.5, he's probably worth it. Power unit focus, reduction of, of time for power unit projects and reduction for running gear projects. So this guy belong. I, we will hire him and we're gonna stick him in, I think obviously enough, the engineering area. Cause he's gonna help on those projects. I mean, he's not available yet, but you know, in five more days. But the reduction of the fire risk seems like it would be a very important thing to have. Okay, he's arrived. Let's get him in, put him to work. Three seventy. Okay. Well, we're making it. We have a little bit of time left on our financial clock. The whippet is done, so now all we need is to go over to it and fix those problems, which is unfortunately very expensive, but I think it's important to do for the reputation. Shell, co you know, something like a shell corporation does not want a poor reputation. Shell corporations, those deserve good reputations. All right, that's all done. Let's go ahead and start producing some. I'm gonna go with 20. I just, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. I don't know if that's quite the right expression, but we're just going big. We think we're gonna need it, potentially. We can get this built pretty quickly too. 26 days, it's not bad. It is a bit expensive, but look at you gotta spend money to make money. And after that, we can fire all our workers again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very seasonal contract, very contract-like position. You can't can't have permanent workers. This 180, we probably could have hired another 20 just to crank these out and then just fired them all immediately afterwards. Uh, I mean, there is nicely a mechanic which prevents that to a degree. 
uh, you can only hire a certain number of workers at a time. But 120, I mean, we could definitely bring this number down more and then also up more when we want to actually do the, the production. All right, uh, as far as we really could use some, some material. We're very, very low on iron in particular. I think we might try to wing this with Africa because it's very... Anybody else have one for iron? No. Yeah, we we really need to stay with the cheap people here. We get twelve hundred for that because we actually have a fair amount of it. Rubber looks okay. Oh, I thought I said twelve hundred. There we go. Rubber will get four hundred. Um, probably four hundred for high carbon steel. No, actually, we need. Uh, let's go with a thousand for rubber. I know eventually we'll need hard carbon, but we don't really need it yet. We'll get 200 just because, you know, we're already ordering. And glass we got, it has not even fallen below 2,000 yet. I'll still take 200 of it. Because, it, I mean, this is very it's very cheap to order from Africa. We just need a lot of iron. It's really the main thing we need, but we're picking up all this other stuff anyway. So what I could do is maybe one order of iron from somewhere else after this, just to get it back up. And I could have been, if I had been more uh, persistent about purchasing from Africa, I think we'd be in a little bit better shape here. Still, that's 20 more whippets that we're going to have done. And we still have the, the means of building a few more if we needed. And I really hope we have the, the need for those extra ones, since uh, the money situation is not great right now. Lots of tension. Well, it looks like Sweden is developing some tanks. It's a little early. Okay, Africa will be the. If I if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. <laughs> all right, new resources have arrived. Let's just run that right back. Just another order right from Africa. One thousand of this, and I think we got to still go with a thousand of that. Another. Let's just do two thousand of rubber because. I think we're gonna need it. High carbon steel is the one thing I really don't know if we need that much of. We'll just stick with 400 there. And glass wise, um, let's not order any glass. Okay, we'll do 100. It's super cheap, it's just hard not to. Okay. And we'll just keep circularly ordering, recurringly order from Africa. We're supporting those underdeveloped economies. It's a, it's a gesture of goodwill. France and Luxembourg are now in an alliance. Military campaign in southern Denmark between Britain and Denmark has started. Um, we're fight. We, I mean, I'm saying we because I guess I think we're in Britain. Are fighting Denmark? What? It's, it's true. It's happening. Okay, well this game is certainly something. I did not realize they added a whole random wars mechanic. That's fascinating, so I guess you can't predict things, which is good. Um, it may lead to some comical events such as Britain declaring war on Denmark. Or was it Denmark declaring war on Britain? I couldn't really tell. Anyway, new tank revealed, eh, it doesn't matter. We just need to whip it. We need another contract. Now, are we able to get contracts from, from other people? Do I need to like go search for those? Do our, maybe our reputation needs to be high enough first? I am not opposed to double dipping here. Yeah, so there's definitely a whole mechanic here, which I'm I was not aware of. But I don't see any way for me to take advantage of that other than through Britain, which is okay. I mean, I, I'm not, I guess I'll have to explore that system another time off camera. Anyways, so this will be a good place, I guess, for us to call this video to a close. Africa will be lay off my, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. My God. <laughs> but is it true? It seems to say it's only one day away. I don't know if it's working. Maybe it's bugged. Alright, well anyway, until the next video, we'll probably do one more. Thanks for watching, stay safe and take care.